Welcome, folks. Um, my Prime's video seemed to be pretty well received, and after making that, I had some requests for a video about signature cards, so that's what we're going to discuss today. We'll take a look at putting the signature effect into effect in your uh, so with some of my cards and some of the other things that you need to understand about SIGs. Okay, so the first point to understand about signature cards is what grades they come in. This is pretty basic. Um, nothing special here, kind of similar to prime cards in that they start out at uh, silver. You can get them at gold and diamond. You will never see a bronze or a normal SIG card. Pretty un inconsequential. So the next point is actually very important, and that is that a signature card is, for all essential purposes, uh, the same as a normal card, except that it has an added bonus. Okay, so let me demonstrate the point of how it is the same as a normal card. I happen to have a Xander Bogertz, and notice he is a 2016 card. And I also happen to have a bronze version of him. Now, if we take a look at the numbers, and I tap on the numbers and open those up, let's uh, let's take the first one. Uh, on the signature card, if I subtract the grade increase of 6 from his contact, that gives me a 72 in contact. And if I perform the same on the bronze, and I take the 3 away from the 75, I'll notice that he's also a 72 in contact. And if I were worked more my way through the rest of the numbers, I'd find out they are the same, showing you that the base card or the numbers on the card are the same as a normal card. Okay, so if you cannot activate the special bonus that a signature card gets, the signature increase, then essentially all you have is a normal card. And given that some of the signatures are based off of cards that are re either just mediocre and some of them are actually bad, then y the fact that it's a signature gives you nothing if you haven't activated the signature increase. So you could be looking at a card that's a signature, you think it's great, and it's actually based on a, a bad player or bad player card, because you haven't activated the bonus, you're actually carrying around uh, something that is dead weight on your team. So that is why it's very important to understand that these are based off of normal cards. Okay, with that understanding, now let's look at how those signature bonuses actually come into effect and how they can affect your team. So we'll take a look at some of the ones that I have in use. We'll point out where the numbers are and then we'll do a little swapping and see how they are with different uh, set bonuses. So, that said, let's see, where can we start? Let's take a look at a simple case of Altuve here. Okay, the things that you want to note are this. First of all, notice my set deck effect uh, column says plus five. Okay, and if you recall what the bonus of a signature card is, it is these, uh, whatever set deck effects you have, you are doubled. So when I first got signature cards, I expected to see that that set deck was going to be 10 there, but it's not. In order to see your signature bonus, you have to open up the numbers by tapping on his base numbers here and notice the signature increase line. That is always going to mirror what the set deck line is. So once you've added together all these pluses and minuses, you'll find that he gets overall plus 10 to each of his ability scores based on the fact that the signature increases five and the set deck, add those together and that gives you your 10. Now, let's compare that to a Boston player of diamond level, of which of course, I can't show you at the moment, so we're going to have to go through a little extra exercise of clearing up my starting 
pitching, the ability to change my starting pitching by reset my season. I'll go back over here to my pitchers and notice I can change them now. And notice down here I have a signature David Price. So if I swap him with Pomeranz, the reason I'm not using Price is he has really crappy skills right now. But nonetheless, now we can actually look at this. Let's take a look at David Price's details. Now, notice that he has a set deck effect of plus seven. Flip over his, oops, sorry, expand his numbers. Signature increase line of seven. That means this David Price is getting plus 14. Where did that seven come from? Let's tap up here on the button that shows me what my signature or set bonuses are. And you'll notice I have Diamond S, which is plus 5, and Boston uh, Team Set at plus 2 for the total of plus 7. The other way to get to this, by the way, is just to hit the Set Deck button. Anyways, so that gives you the 7 that shows you how he's getting his Set Deck bonus of plus 7. Okay, this is all fairly simple. I have an all-diamond team, and um, Diamond Set Deck bonuses affect both batters and pitchers. However, if we scroll down here to a gold set bonus, you'll notice that the set bonuses only affect pitchers. And then for silver, it affects, once again, pitchers only. Which means if you have a signature card on a team without a diamond set deck bonus, you could potentially not be able to activate the signature bonus. More explicitly, if I take my, okay, well, now we need to use it better as an example. If I take Bogertz here and I try to put him onto an all silver team, he has, he has nothing to multiply. His signature increase can't be activated because he's not receiving any bonus from a silver set deck. Therefore, he's just going to behave like any other silver Bogarts guard. So that pretty much makes the, the it useless. So signature cards that are, are not pitchers on teams that do not have a uh, diamond set deck bonus are essentially the same as a normal card. You really aren't activating any extra bonus. Whereas a pitcher can be placed into a silver or um, gold team and will see a double bonus on their scores. So that becomes very useful for pitchers and relievers, obviously, reliever also being a pitcher. Nonetheless, so let's take a look at one more thing before I let you go, and that is, what is it going to look like if I take a gold Mookie Betts and put him into my roster? We'll take this Mookie. And we'll swap him with somebody else, uh, switch players. And just to recap for people who aren't as familiar with the set deck bonuses, um, in a DH roster, you can have one non-diamond or one non-set and still have an S rank for diamond. So if I look at him... He doesn't qualify for the diamond, but he does qualify for my team set. So that he that means he gets plus two from the team set. And sorry, I keep doing that. And the signature increase gives him another plus two, which makes him plus four overall uh, signature bonus that he gets uh, because he's on my team set, which I just realized uh, does point out that if you have a signature card that is on the proper team, even if it is a uh, silver or gold, that will be useful. Okay, so I meant my statement a little bit. Pitchers are useful on, signature pitchers are useful 
uh, regardless of whether or not they're on your team set, they will always get some type of bonus at any level, silver, uh, gold, or diamond. Whereas batters, if they're not a diamond and they are not in a team set, then they're just going to be like a normal card. Okay, so that covers the basics of it. More details about the actual OVR prediction, all that type of stuff is covered in my other video, so I'm not going to go into that again. Uh, but the key points being that we are based off of the same card and without a proper set deck effect that you can actually multiply, then you're essentially looking at the same card. Those are the points that I want you to understand, so I hope this has proved useful for you, and thanks for listening.